You know, Jeremiah 51, 21 says, With thee I will break in pieces the horse and the rider. You need to stay tuned for this study. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tribulation Institute. My name is Jeff Forster and this is another edition of the chart of the book of Revelations. You know, i got something special for you. Um, wait, wait till you see this. You know, um, I do believe, and I'm going to give you ample proof, I believe um, about Yah's chosen people, that's the Israel of God, those are the saints, and if you've been watching any of my videos here lately, I've been talking a lot about the fall of America from illegal people coming into the country in Jeremiah 51, talking about how the Bible says in Jeremiah 51, 1 and 2 and 3, that those uh, foreigners, fanners, are going to empty our land. And those that are come to my website all the time, know that I teach that America is the daughter of Babylon and that we need to come out of it or partake of the plagues that come upon it. So, what I want to get to you, share with you tonight is the four spirits on the four spirits that are inhabiting the writer's of the four horses of the apocalypse. Now I'm going to give a link in the description box and probably in the comment section as well to this chart that's online, but it's an it's not this particular one. You can get there too. And by the way, you need to pull it up and you can follow me now if you like. But it's an interactive chart. It's not now because it's archived, but all the words in here uh, that I put on it had had live links and I talked about those four colors and what they meant uh, many 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 years ago and I know another gentleman Ken Reggio um, also teaches this so we're in agreement on that you might want to visit his channel I don't agree with everything he says but a whole lot uh, at any rate there are four spirits that are inhabiting the riders of the horses. You know, everybody always tries to, or at least, you know, end time uh, preachers and teachers and those that love eschatology, which is me, we're always hearing about the riders on the horses and the colors of the horses. But no one hardly ever other than Ken Raggio and myself, talk about the horses. Yeah, I'm not sure he talks about the horses, but nevertheless, I'm going to show you, I'm going to, hopefully, the scales off of your eyes will fall off as the truth is unfolding. Look, we're in a time right now that's being fulfilled the prophecy that says I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Now he's pouring out his spirit on all flesh but a lot of them just are going to wipe it off. Why? Because they love their flesh to things of the world. But those that are serious about Yah he is pouring out his spirit. Daniel said, shut up this book till the end of the days. There is much more. As we're getting closer and closer, and I said the second horse is already uh, riding. And as we get closer, more of it for those that have eyes to see and ears to hear that reject all the lies of false religions and the governments of this world. And I include Christianity and false religions are all false. But this is not the topic. The topic is, the uh, actually, I come across this today, never looked at it in this light, 
uh, about the horse. Now I'm going to read it to you. This is in Jeremiah 51, and uh, starting verse 19 through, uh, well, it goes all the way down to, you know, uh, for a bunch of verses, but I actually want to talk about three or four. It's talking about, in verse 19, uh, Israel, the rod of his inheritance, that be us Latter-day Saints, and I ain't talking about the Mormons, um, of, the, of his inheritance for the Lord, or Yahweh of hosts, is his name. Thou art, talking about Ephraim, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee, that's us. I will break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. Stay with me now. Listen to this. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and its rider. The four horses of the apocalypse, and there's four riders. So, what are the horses? They are the systems that the rider or the spirit of the rider of the horse is riding and is fulfilling of all these things that are uh, that come out during those seals. The first one is the false religion of Christianity, which includes Catholicism, the white horse, it's the spirit of Antichrist. All, of, all four of these have the spirit of Antichrist, both the systems and the rider of the horse. The red one is Communism, okay? The Reds, the Reds, communism, the Edomites, Jacob's, Israel's brother Esau, who sold his inheritance to Jacob for a bowl of red porridge. Well, they're coming back to try to claim it, but they're not going to be successful. Anyway, the Black Horse is the fall of capital in the United States that's the leader of it and the ensuing famine because of the breaking of the economic system the petrodollar you know the BRICS nations so everybody is still attached to the dollar <laughs> which is most of the countries in the world they're going under as well the green horse is the green horse of Islam Okay, so those are the systems. The church, the religion. Hello, and welcome back to a Remnant Golden Nugget Moment brought to you by the Tribulation Institute. And today it comes out of Joel. You, you need to read the whole the book, especially chapter 2. And I'm going to skim through it real quick, but you need to come back because I'm short of time here. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Okay. And number 11, um, the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. Verse 23, be glad, ye children of Zion, those are the saints, and rejoice in Yahweh your God, for he hath given you the former rain and the latter rain, dropping down to verse 28. And it shall come to pass that he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And then it goes on down to verse 32. He says, And there'll be deliverance, as Yahweh has said, in the remnant whom he will call.